Yeah, so welcome to part two of this video. All right. So remember when you were trying to synthesize, you know, maybe some sort of general reaction. Um, and we we're using, you know, the Grignard process. Uh, and we ended up with a protic species um, within our mag uh, magnesium bromide um, compound. And that's not good, right? No protic species. And this is one of the reasons why we actually try to do these reactions in anhydrous conditions. And so that's why we dry our beakers and all this good stuff that we're going to use to synthesize this reaction because we simply just don't, don't want um, any protic species. I live in Florida. There's a lot of humidity. There's a lot of moisture. There's a lot of water in the air. People in California, that might be a different story. But anyway, so if I wanted to carry out a reaction with this molecule here, then the first thing I'm going to do is protect my alcohol. I am going to add TMSCL and it doesn't matter any good protecting group. I'm going to protect my alcohol. All right. And look what happens when I add my magnesium. Now look what happens. Magic. All right. I have OTMS. Now this is not protein anymore. So this cannot react with, with, with one another. Right. So now we could add acetone, all right? And this is our classic Grignard reaction. We add acetone to this molecule, then we're gonna get something that looks like this. Maybe I should redraw this a little bit. We get OTMS, all right? And then we get an alcohol here. So this would be a product from a Grignard reaction. And this is not a mechanism video. Um, I have a video up about Grignard reaction. So if you want to see the mechanism, uh, that, 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 um, you can check those out in a, in another different video. All right. So now I get my neutral product to be this, but I still have a protecting group. So now I want to deep protect my alcohol. Right, because this is no useful. This is no longer useful. And the way we're gonna deprotect our alcohol, especially with TMSCL, um, a special deprotecting group, this is called TB, it's abbreviated as TBAF. Right. And this deprotect alcohols, deep the de de uh, this deprotects alcohols. So adding this reagent to my to my molecule, I would get this. Right, this would be my problem. Now, if you want to see what TBAF look like, looks like, I know a lot of you guys are curious, this stands for tetrabutylammonium fluoride. And it turns out that fluorine is actually very um, attracted to silicon. So um, that's just something, again, you need to know. And how the molecule actually looks, it actually it's actually a handful. So it looks something like this. All right, my fluorine act as my nucleophile. And the molecule actually looks something like this. And again, the reason why this works, remember we usually, fluorine is actually a really terrible nucleophile because of how small it is. But it turns out that silicon, this fluorine is actually very attractive to silicon. So that's why this reaction actually works. Um, but that's it for the general reactions of alcohols, especially in Orchem 1, you will see uh, these protecting groups, protecting alcohols, um, oxid obviously oxidizing alcohols, um, reducing alcohols is uh, using lithium aluminum hydride, sodium borohydride. Um, but this two part video was just dedicated to just studying and knowing the general reactions of alcohols.